Welcome back to Adventures. Today I'm going to take you inside South Francisco Church and Convent. This is one of the most spectacular churches in the world located in Salvador Bahia. It's a very famous church that has been richly decorated inside with gold, silver, and precious stones. The ceiling art is so elaborate that it has been compared to that of the Sistine Chapel inside the Vatican. Salvador is one of the most beautiful and visited city in Brazil. It brings together countless attractions and sites from all tastes, beaches, and natural beauty, historical places, which refer to the beginning of Brazilian colonization, lots of music, typical cuisine, religion, and in addition, it has an amazing and one of the biggest carnival in the world. First sight is the La Seda elevator that you can see on the right side of the screen. It was inaugurated in 1873 and at the time was the highest urban elevator in the world. Come here for a spectacular view of the city and it connects the lower with the higher part of the city of Salvador. This is the view you can enjoy from here. So these buildings, are they residences or offices mostly? Offices, that, and residences here. So offices farther out and then residences right here. Okay, so it's a good mix. Yeah, everybody. Normally, all of them are offices. Okay. Because the major part of these are empty. Okay. Well, this area is the down city. We are in up city. Up city, okay. 60 meters up the sea. 60 meters up the sea, okay. You can see a church very far from here. Yes. It's a Bonfim church, very famous. All right. Very nice. What is the name of the building? Uh, this is uh, Our Lady of Conceição Church. Okay. okay. Patrona of Salvador, of Bahia, sorry. Okay. Uh, Portuguese, they built this church for the first time in Portugal. Portugal. This kind of stone is a marble, marble from Leos. This marble just ex exists in Portugal, okay? And they built this church for the first time there, put numbers in all the stones. It's a symbol, put all the stones in a boat, come to here and rebuild the, the same the position. The same thing, right here. This uh, church. Wow. So this was moved from Portugal piece by piece yeah. all the way to Brazil. Exactly. What a beautiful, beautiful building. Wow. Yeah. It's a gentrification process. So that is a, they're going to gentrification up, up, yeah. up there. Yeah. So these buildings are completely empty. Yeah. Wow. For but decades. For how long? More than 10 years. More than 10 years. More than, more, more than 30 years. More than 30 years, these buildings have been empty. This is the lighthouse in Baja and it's truly one of the best known tourist destination that you need to see up close. But I recommend you visit during the sunset for an even more remarkable experience. A big plan to renovate this area. We created some areas inside the squares for people enjoy at night with some drum groups. Okay. So all the place that square. Oh, but all these streets at night before pandemic so crowded. Yeah. Very nice place to come. So right on. This is another place like that. Yeah. Inside, they have a big square of enjoy. And I, and I want to point out, um, Olodum is um, is actually a band uh, here, right? Yeah. Okay. There is an official. Um, Olodum store. Olodum. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna see more about them down there. Yeah, sure. After a quick walk, we made it down to the San Francisco Church in Salvador. It dates back from 1686, and I have to admit, this is one of the most beautiful and exuberant churches I've ever seen in my life. So, this is the San Francisco Church, okay? The, one, of, one of the most important examples of Portuguese Baroque out of Portugal, mm -hmm. okay? In colonial Brazil, slaves were forced to convert to Catholicism. The Portuguese constructed over 300 churches in Salvador alone, and it was the slaves who built them. San Francisco is one of the most ornate, using real gold leaf like wallpaper. Uh, here the guide talks about 800 kilos of gold, 
Okay, wow, these, 800 kilos of gold. gold. Yeah, uh, this is gold leaves. Yeah, they first they scoop the wood and then they cover it with these gold leaves. It's very thin. Capital Lisbon after the big earthquake that happened in 1755 mm -hmm. that destroyed all the Lisbon. They rebuilt Lisbon with Brazilian gold. So you can imagine how much gold they bring. important in this church is uh, how they built this, who built this church. Because if you um, pay attention, some, uh, Portugal is a very small country. Mm -hmm. so how was possible for Portugal to uh, send a lot of workers to all their colonies around the world? Mm -hmm. And have, they have a lot of col colonies around the world. So, Salvador was lucky because it was the first capital. So a lot of artists come to here first. But here, when they come to here, when they arrive here, they need to teach um, some slaves to help them to build this church, mm -hmm. Africans or indigenous. And these slaves are invited to this. Mm -hmm. African slaves were forced into believing the oppressor's Catholicism. As a sign of rebellion, they carved out disfigured faces exposed sexual organs and embarrassed priests who had to chisel them away because they were offending pieces. And sometimes they put their culture and sometimes they put their faces in these angels, these you know, kids. Mm -hmm. For example, this face is very close to an indigenous face. You can see the eyes, the nose, this is more Latin face, more than European uh -huh. classic face. You know. And sometimes naked. You can see some of these angels are trying to get naked, but by the time the priests ask to cook this. The same happened in Italy, but in Italy they at least they painting something, some flowers, some uh, mm -hmm. clothes, you know. Here it's very interesting because we have this naked body mm -hmm. that is not common in that time. And normally we think that angel don't have sex. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And if have, it's male. Mm -hmm. Here they have sex, very... Um, Define it. We have male and female angels. Okay, so men and male and female angels. And female angels yeah. I never see a female angel in a, in a church. But here, yeah. You can see that. It's a female. On the left is a boy. You can see the pain on the other side. And that you can see the vision. So here you have a male angel yeah. and then the female angel right there. Yeah. Which is unique because usually angels are painted as just males. Yeah. Okay. You really need to visit the San Francisco church. It's unbelievable that it was built over 300 years ago by slaves that could not go inside once it was finished. Today, religion is still a strong characteristic of people from Salvador Bahia. A finding that can be exemplified by the 160 churches spread across Salvador de Bahia, true monuments from the 17th and 18th century that concretely illustrate the power of Catholicism at the time. The main two religions in the city are Catholicism and Candomblé. Candomblé is a religion that combines elements from African cultures, including the Yoruba, Bantu, 
and fun, as well as some elements of Catholicism and indigenous South American beliefs. Developed in Brazil by enslaved Africans, it is based on oral traditions and includes a wide range of rituals, including ceremonies, dance, animal sacrifices, and personal worship. While Condomble was once a hidden religion, its membership has grown significantly and is now practiced by at least 2 million people in Brazil. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content. Next video, I will take you around Michael Jackson filming location for the video clip They Don't Care About Us. Kindly subscribe and press that like button. Thank you for watching.